the change to trust account report requirements. So hopefully most of you would be logged in and receiving the uh, New South Wales Fair Trading Property Matters newsletter. If you were, Tuesday last week they issued a notice stating that as of the 1st of July, it will be required that anyone holding a trust account, when they have that trust account ordered, so nothing's changed there, you still have to have your trust account ordered, that has never been uh, changed in history, still have to have that ordered, still have to have that done by the 30th of September, but now it's not just qualified audit reports that need to be lodged to fair trading by the 30th of September, it is all audit reports, whether it's whether breaches have been notified and it's qualified, or if there are no breaches being notified, every single report needs to be uploaded on the new uh, online uh, tracking system that Fair Trading have, and that will be uploaded by your trust account auditor. Now, you will be advised that, uh, as, as a licensee in charge, that Fair Trading has received your audit report, so you know that your trust account auditor has done the right thing and lodge that by the 30th of September. But don't leave it till the last minute to get your audit done. So, you know, make sure you're getting yourself ready. It's June on Saturday, so you've got one month left till the end of the financial year. Then start getting yourself ready for your trust account audit from the 1st of July onwards. Get it done early, get it lodged, make sure you're compliant. Make sure you obviously keep a copy of that because Fair Trading can ask for a copy uh, for three years afterwards. So if they walk through your door, they want to see that you have a copy of that audit report within your office. So guys, that's a change that has occurred as of last Tuesday. Now, yes, it is one of the points uh, that went through the bill last March for the property services reforms. They brought it in early or earlier than the rest of the reforms are coming in. And that means that it's of effect of the 1st of July. So every audit that is done after for this current financial year, the report must be lodged. Really clear, really simple. Mm -hmm.